we already know that print function prints a printer print something we can use the print function to print something to the console and give user output message in this video we'll discuss about getting input from users okay let's say we want to get the user's name okay so we can print a message asking a user for its his their name okay so it will print the out this message to the console what is your name but the problem is it's the our program executes an end so okay we can tell that from this orange arrow that's our program ended executing so there is no way to user to give an input okay uh, so for that we have input function so here instead of it's similar to print but instead of print here we can have input here okay see it's giving me automatic code completion is giving me the input thing okay so input function and now if i run the code so now you can see it's prints out this message and it's waiting for our input the program is still running and waiting for our input how can we know it's not ended running because this yellow arrow is not there so it's still running and waiting for our input okay so we have to enter our name type our name let's say type input and hit enter okay then program runs and it's stop the execution so where the input function work is it's wait for users input and then uh, when he user type something and enter the keys it get the input and then it goes to the next line okay so let's say i want to do something with this input okay so we'll get this input and we'll try to greet the user so we can use the print function here okay uh, before that uh, I must say this input function is similar to uh, the print function it use it has the input and then here is the message that we are going to print for user so this is the hint this is to give a hint for user what is the input we are expecting okay in this case we are expecting users name okay so input has function have this format here we have input and then here we have prompt this prompt is a string we have to give a string uh, prompting user what is the input he is supposed to enter there okay so this one reads the line from the input or the console convert into a string and return the result okay so it's returned the result now let's say i want to use this input so i can give it in a print function print print okay my keyboard got stuck sorry it sometimes it's stuck print okay i use this select this one okay here i will say hello a string in in the print put function we should give a string hello we'll say hello hello okay and i use plus sign so here i'm this is a get this is given as a string so i'm concatenating these two strings okay now i can close this okay we'll run this and see how what happens okay so here it's asking what is my name and waiting for the input what is your name so i will type my name and hit enter okay it will print hello nadika <coughs> next 
pixel okay so here it's printing without a space so if i want a space i can think put a space here okay run so i'm pressing the beaker and enter see it's in print hello nadika so what happens here print function wait put the input when it hit and enter its read the input and its returns that means it's replaced this statement by the user input okay this statement get replaced by a user input so first uh, it's wait for the user input and then this place get replaced by the user input then this complete string get printed okay uh, so if it's hard to grasp this concept we can use our tony editor to see how it works okay so we we'll go for this one okay last time i forgot to, so here we'll get this copied this way it's easier copy So we'll go to the so if I run this you can see it uh, will ask for the name here in the picture so I can say Nadika okay okay processing what happened okay okay sorry the answer error in Tony editor let's see okay it's printed hello Nadika no then it gave error so it's printed here hello Nadika okay there is some problem in my installer installing okay so we'll ignore that for now so it's printed hello Nadika no okay so let's see this with debugging mode how this code works okay so for I will hit the bug icon and then we'll go step by step. So it's starting with the print statement. Okay. Then it's going inside the print, trying to print what is inside. Then it's identifying first part as a string. And then it's going for the second part. Okay. Now it's going inside and can identifying inside of input as a string. Okay, so we'll go to next step. Okay, so it printed what is your name. Now you can see this next button is disabled because I cannot go to the next step without a user input. No, so here I will input. So you can see when I enter Nadika, this part is get replaced by the string Nadika. Okay. So it's a string, it gives it as a string. Okay. So it gives it as a string. So now it, these two strings get concatenated. Okay. And then it will get concatenated into one string say hello Nadika and it will get printed okay the next step it will get printed okay so it remove the plus sign by concatenating the strings and then it prints the result if I go further it will give error due to the that the error in the installation I will stop here now there is one important thing I want to show that even I in input a integer it will return return a string okay let's see again we'll go for debug mode here I will go step by step
j123 okay i enter 23 and enter okay my enter keyboard is not working see 23 as a string it has this quotation marks okay it returns the integer as a string now it will concatenate these two strings So it concatenated the two strings and it will print hello 23. Okay. So even we enter a uh, integer, it's converting to a string and getting it as a string. We will talk about that more in later. Okay, this issue more about this issue later so one thing you can notice here it's asking for name even we gave some input program accepted that okay because computer is not intelligent so in our code we have to do something in future codes we have to do something if user give a invalid input we have to do something to identify those okay that is one thing to make note and other thing to observe is even if we enter a number it will be given as a string okay so uh, we'll go back to our so why i'm not using this editor because this repeat is an online editor you can use it any computer with a uh, online connection okay and you don't have to install python like here you if you get a certain error when installing the editor you run into trouble if i used another one so with this repeat editor everyone you can use the same editor as me and you will get the same ex uh, environment okay later we will introduce more editors so you can choose the editor you like okay so we go back to here now one more thing i will show you let's with the type function okay type input let's say enter a number okay so we let's run this one enter a number I will enter 123 okay okay I didn't give a print okay so it will not print anything so let's say here print sorry okay let me say here print string see so we even whatever the input we give it returns a string input as a string okay so we go back to our program with name okay so we saw how this works okay what is your name I can say now because Okay, you get this you can make this more readable by store using a variable okay so I can store this input value in a variable let's say variable cut okay okay here yeah. I will say this one name Okay, we should give a meaningful name so we will store our input in this name variable and we'll use it here okay name okay so now let's run the program it will ask for this one so this white cursor is what is waiting for the input okay so i will type here 
Nadika. You can see it will print hello Nadika. Okay. So here we can use a variable and store the input value in a variable. So we can use it also later at later lines in the program. Okay. So this is better to store it in a input than using it here in the speed use it in a save it in a variable than using it here okay uh, one more thing here when we run this program this is this is just appearing attached to the name thing so it's a little bit unpleasant yeah? so if i type nadika it's just overlapping with this thing it's look it don't it's not nice no so for that we can leave a space here okay i can put space here small space and now it's giving me a space okay so i can say not this okay so it says hello Nadika. okay uh, now let's say I want to get this cursor in the next line here instead of leaving a space we want to say what is your name and we want cursor to appear in the next line okay in that situation here I can enter a new line character this new line character is this okay black slash n okay so this is a new line if I have this I will get it get the cursor in a new line Okay, so then I can say Nadika. Okay, so what this black slash is in doing is it's adding a new line. Okay, so it's called the new line character. Even with print statements, we can use it. Okay, so for example. Let's say I have this hello word. Okay. So if I run this, it will print hello word. Okay. But if I put a new line character here, black slash in, it will come in the next line. This part will come in the next line because this is adding a new line. Okay. So this backslash n is the new line character. We can use it to get a new line in that input or in this print statement. Okay. So remember that. Okay. Uh, so in uh, this video we learned about the input function and how to get the use input and store it in a variable. Remember that input function returns the input as a string. Okay. Input function return the input as a string we can store it in a variable also we learned about the new line character okay so uh, we'll uh, that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video okay